The only location to see more horror than the battlefield is an actual movie theater, and many people claim that there is nowhere more haunted. This is a list of the 10 most haunted battlefields. Stony Creek in Canada was the location of a battle in 1813 when America attempted to invade Canada. The battlefield is said to be haunted by dozens of soldiers who died on the day. It is also said to be haunted by the ghost of Mary Cage, a widow who lived in the middle of the field. Ever since she died, there have been constant reported sightings of her drifting through the air aimlessly while weeping over the loss of her husband who died during the American Revolution. According to local legend, when she died in 1841, both her body and her gravestone mysteriously vanished before she could be buried. The Battle of Marston Moor took place on the 2nd of July 1644. If reports are to be believed, the area is occupied by the deranged ghost of Oliver Cromwell, the man who led the winning side of the English Civil War. He can be seen staggering through the foggy moor in an attempt to escape the vengeful spirits of the 4,000 men killed by his army during the battle. Since the early 20th century, people have reported seeing hundreds of soldiers marching across roads on one last eternal patrol. Antietam Creek was the location for the bloodiest single-day battle of the American Civil War. People who visit the field often claim to smell gunpowder and to hear the sound of gunshots. They say that if you accidentally stumble into a shallow unmarked grave, the ghost you disturb will follow you home. Not only is the creek reported as haunted, but all the surrounding areas are also supposedly home to dark forces. So it's a bit like every single town in Denmark. The Little Bighorn Monument preserves the site of the Battle of Little Bighorn. The battle was when several native tribes joined forces to defeat United States troops. If you visit the site today, you may find yourself overwhelmed by a feeling of sorrow and loss. You may even experience visions of the battle itself taking place all those years ago. In 1983, a woman gained a job as a live-in groundskeeper and was given a house on the site. She claims to have walked into her living room on one cold morning and to her absolute horror saw a man sitting in the armchair wearing an old army uniform. The man turned his head towards her, seemingly shocked at what he saw. He stared at her for 20 seconds before disappearing entirely. The Battle of Cannae took place on August the 2nd, 216 BC. It was when Hannibal led an African army to defeat a much larger Roman army. For over 1,000 years, legend has told that the ghosts of the killed Romans often return from the grave to guard their ancient homeland. If on a foggy morning, you see a ghostly Roman brandishing a sword. Do not let him see you, as if he does, you will be beheaded before midnight. During the American Civil War, the Battle of Cold Harbor lasted from the 31st of May to the 12th of June, 1864. Union troops were crushed in one of the most savage battles of all time. So it makes sense that a lot of people believe the battlefield to be one of America's most haunted places. Tourists regularly report hearing the shattering screams of thousands of dying soldiers, which I would have thought would discourage people from visiting the site, but clearly it doesn't. The Battle of Marsaglia was fought in Italy in 1693 as part of the War of the Grand Alliance. A French army swiftly put down an inferior Spanish force in an impressive victory. The Marsaglia battlefield is unlike others on the list, 
as it is not said to be haunted by the ghosts of soldiers, but is said to be haunted by the spirits of the horses they rode on. People often describe the experience as a nightmare. Ha ha ha. It's a funny joke. The Battle of Stalingrad was when the Nazis attempted to capture the Russian city of Stalingrad. They ultimately failed, and the number of deaths is still unknown, but with at least two million dying, it was clearly the largest and most intense battle in the history of human conflict. In the city today, there are said to be whole suburbs populated mostly by the ghosts of dead civilians, living their lives as normal in an eternal tribute to 1940s life. The Battle of Towton was part of the English War of the Roses. It took place in the town of Towton in March 1461, and 28,000 people died. The battle was fought during a heavy snowstorm, which gave birth to the legend of Towton, which goes that once every seven years, during a period of heavy snowfall, two ghostly armies will emerge from the storm and will do battle for three hours and 12 minutes before the storm dies down and they will not be seen again for another seven years. The Battle of Gettysburg was the most famous conflict of the American Civil War, and today almost everyone who visits Gettysburg experiences the unexplainable. A local farm, which was used as a hospital during the battle, is said to be haunted by over 1,000 ghosts. The dead bodies weren't removed from the field until seven years after the battle ended. Lack of a proper burial is said to have disturbed the soldiers' souls, provoking them to drift in and out of reality. When walking through the grounds, many people often fall to the ground. They look behind them to see that no one else is present although they could have sworn that someone pushed them over. And so that brings us to the end of our video on the 10 most haunted battlefields. Alfred M. Gray once said there is no such thing as a crowded battlefield. Battlefields are lonely places. The man's clearly never been to Gettysburg, they've got a thousand ghosts.